Alrighty, so the big question is how to add or remove a WooCommerce product in WordPress. So this is taking into account you already have your uh, WordPress installation done, you already have the WooCommerce plugin installed, and you want to get started adding some products. So let's get to it. So over here in our WordPress dashboard, we're going to look along the left hand panel here. You may have more or less than what I do right here. Um, but you're just going to look right under WooCommerce here where it says products and to add a product You're just going to hover over that and go ahead and select add new So that'll take you to this screen where we can write our product name uh, in my case I list uh, computers so I'm probably going to say something like refurbished uh, HP laptop, but you can do whatever you want in my case we're doing we're doing laptops so we'll say uh, you know just some just some filler there's some filler here and boom all right just a little just a little headline right there pretty much describe your product and in this section right down here we can write a description um, now before we do that if you have the Yoast SEO plugin that really helps uh, as far as like creating uh, search engine optimized product descriptions. Um, so you can kind of follow their SEO tips here um, as far as like SEO analysis and stuff like that. Um, that might make it a little more tricky to create a good product listing if you're trying to get those green uh, circles there. But anyway, we're not gonna, gonna get into too much of that right now. So you'll wanna make your product listing. So in my case, it might be, well, let's see. I'll just copy, uh, I'll just copy one of my product listings I already have on uh, my website here. So we'll go ahead and, and uh, just grab a little, just grab a little description here. Let's see, we'll take uh, whatever this one is. There we go, a little description here. Just go ahead and grab that, hop right over here and paste that right in there. So there's our description. Um, now, like I said, if you have the Yoast SEO, you can kind of follow that there. So uh, for focus key phrase, you just put pretty much what it is. In my case, it's a refurbished HP laptop. So that is what I would want my focus key phrase to be. And then you can change your, uh, your title here, your SEO title. Uh, everything looks good as far as the title to me. I'm going to throw in a little meta description here. Just something quick and easy here. There we go. So again, with Yoast, it'll kind of tell you there uh, if it's good or not. So once it turns green, your length is good. As you can see, if you make it too long, not ideal. So anyway, and if it's too short, also not ideal. But anyway, that's all good. So we'll forget about Yoast for right now. And then we'll scroll a little further down here. Now this is where we add our product data. So in my case, I do external and affiliate products, but you could do single products, grouped products, uh, variable products, whatever you have there. Um, now, the reason I do an external affiliate product, this is good if you're uh, selling things that are on Amazon or you're running an affiliate blog or something like that. You can pretty much just put the product URL right here, uh, set the button text, and then you can set your pricing. So in my case, uh, and you're, you might be similar or you might want to sell things directly on your website. In my case, I like the uh, button here to just go to my contact page for inquire. So people can call me because, like I said, in my case, I might not actually even have these products at the time. Um, so I'd want people to call me just to verify that I actually have them. So anyway, so that's what we're going to do here. We're going to set up an external affiliate product. So uh, the product URL at least for us here, and it's going to be the website contact page, like so. And the text that I like to use is just inquire, but you can say buy now or buy whatever you want. And here we can put a regular price and a sale price. So what that will do pretty much is, let's see if I can show you some 
um, product listings. All right, so this one is a good example here where if we put the regular price and then a sale price, it'll cross out the regular price and put the sale price right next to it. Pretty useful. So we can do that if we like. So we'll say regular price and sale price. There we go. So just put the numbers, no dollar signs, no periods or zeros, just the, just the price. And as far as the product short description, this I usually just leave blank, but this is just to give the, um, a little description under here between the title and the price, which you could use if you want. Personally, I prefer to leave that blank because I like the clean aesthetic it offers. So we're just gonna leave that blank for now, but we are not done yet. One of the most important parts of your product listing is adding a product image. So if we look along the right hand side here, we'll see this little uh, sidebar. Uh, we wanna select the appropriate category. So if you don't have any categories set up, you just wanna say add new category here, and then you can fill it in with whatever you want. All right, but I already have some categories. So I could just select one, unless you have your categories made, select the one that you wanna use. In this case, we're gonna do laptops. And you can make some product tags here. Um, so in the case of this laptop, it's an HP. Um, you would just say HP or, you know, I don't really use them too much because I don't have a ton of products. So I just leave those blank, but you get the idea. And then as far as the, uh, the layout, this I don't, really, I don't really mess with. I think the default layout is fine. But the final thing, most importantly, is the product image. So you just want to say set product image. Now you can upload a file from your computer. Just select the file. Um, or if you already have it uploaded into your WordPress, just select from your media library here. So we'll say, we'll say we just uploaded this one here. Now, once, uh, once this is uploaded, the only thing that you'd want to do is make sure that you have a, a small image size. You don't want a large oversized image because it'll really slow down your page. Um, if you want to check out my video, uh, on how I optimize images to compress them up to 90% and just vastly increase page loading times, or decrease page loading times, I should say. Um, I have another video about that, which I will link here. But anyway, the one thing that you want to do is set the alt text and the title. Now, the alt text is important for accessibility reasons. Um, pretty much when you hover over an image, it'll say this text, or if you're using a screen reader, It'll read that text. So just fill in the appropriate alt text and title. They should match. So if it's a refurbished MacBook like that, in my case, I would just say refurbished MacBook, but you can change it for whatever your product is. And then we would just say set product image. And there we go, now we have our product. So all we have to do now is hit publish right here, little blue button, bam. And this product's kind of all over the place. We have an HP title, a Dell description, and a MacBook picture, but you get the idea. So once the uh, listing is up, then that publish button will change into an update button. And we'll see if we go over to our product page and refresh. Now we have that, uh, that new product there, right front and center. Now, what if we want to delete a product? Well, that's pretty simple too, even easier than adding a product. So you just go back over into your WordPress dashboard here, and right under products, you can just click on products um, or click on all products. Anyway, it'll take you to the same place in your list of products here. So all you gotta do is just find which one you want to remove. So in our case, it's the first one here. And when you hover over them, you'll see you get these little options, trash, view, duplicate, etc. And you would just click trash and that would delete it right away. If you wanna delete multiples, just click the little check box here and then you can delete multiple listings. I do actually want to delete a few listings here. So I'm just gonna select both of these. And then we would say, bulk actions, move the trash right there. Or if you were just deleting one, you can simply click on trash. But to delete multiple, it's a bulk actions, move to trash, and then apply. And there we go those listings are deleted and we're pretty much all set. So as you can see, there's a lot of cool stuff to explore here in WooCommerce and WordPress. But uh, anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. If you did, feel free to like, leave a comment if you have any questions. And if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. It really helps me out. And I will see you in the next video.